And if he was here now, maybe we'd still handle it. But he's not. The film Crown and Anchor can be described as a slow burn drama where things get pretty dark. It's a collaboration between two longtime friends and bandmates from the group Bucket Truck, Michael Rowe and Matt Wells. They're both from St. John's and they actually made the film there in 15 days. They're here to tell us more. Michael Rowe and Matt Wells join me now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. You know, before we even get into the film and, and what it's all about and things getting dark, I, I mean, this has really been a passion project for both of you and a bit of an uphill battle as well because you, you actually faced a lot of naysayers, people who sort of were not behind this film. Listen, making an independent film in Canada is not easy anyway. Anybody who can pull off an independent film in this, in this country and, and have it released in any form are working their butts off. For us, as first-time filmmakers, we were told that, you know, you have to do certain things to make it uh, more palatable to, the, to certain business people or audiences. It was like, it should be 90 minutes. You should, it shouldn't be so intense. You shouldn't have so much maybe intense punk and hardcore music in it. We did the opposite of all those things. So it's sort of like they were all self-inflicted wounds a little bit, but it was all true to the story, true to the character, and we knew that at a point like this, when we could talk about his release, we would feel better. I don't recommend it for the faint of heart, <laughs> um, but we believed in the project, and uh, but it has definitely uh, not been easy. It's also kind of filmed differently than a lot of projects you might have seen filmed in Newfoundland. People will go there to use the geography and the nature and the sweeping landscapes. We, seeing the stuff that was coming from home, it, I didn't really ever feel like it fully represented my version of growing up there, you know, downtown and St. John's, which is a city like anywhere, but also very unique. So we filmed it in sort of the back alleys, old stomping grounds, places I grew up getting in trouble and mischief. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's kind of shot from the outside in, you know, because these characters are stuck on an island and we want to give that feeling of being trapped there. Yeah, it's very reflective of the story. So let's talk about what the film's all about. So two estranged cousins, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your lives are, are forced to intersect. And in that, I guess what happens is things sort of take a turn and, and a turn in, in a place that's pretty dark. Yeah, the cousins, they, they grew up being really close. Um, they were sort of a support system for each other. Uh, but at this point where we meet them, they're, they're estranged. They, they come from a, a petty crime family in St. John's. Um, it follows both of their journeys and how they deal with growing up in those circumstances. My character, James Downey, he, his father is the, the head of this uh, crime family. He's a real piece of work. He grew up watching him uh, he sort of be super abusive, especially to his mother. He becomes a police officer just to put his own father in prison. Returns home after the death of his mother eight years later and sees the fallout and the destruction that that decision has mm -hmm. caused the family. Yeah, and, and for me, like I play this other cousin, and what's interesting about it is that when we first started writing the script and the story, the idea was to have a look at how two people can, can uh, be affected differently by a similar situation. So, you know, and this is loosely inspired by a lot of things I saw in my own family growing up. So when you think about the cycles of abuse and addiction that, that permeate through a family or generations, what I saw was some people who were able to break the cycle and some people who weren't. So our two characters represent those two worlds. My, Michael's character represents someone who sort of is now a straight edge sort of individual who doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, in rebellion against his father, but internally he deals with his demons. My character outwardly is repeating the cycles of drug and drugs and violence. We and want to make sure that everybody goes to see it. It opens in theaters on Friday. There's a, a huge musical identity to it as mm -hmm. well, of course, with you guys being in a band. I'm, I'm glad to hear That's that right. as well. And a family affair, so Correct. go watch it. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching CP24 Breakfast. Don't forget to watch Crown and Anchor.